person in the entire city to have wives. In fact, he has five of them just can afford in this world. Joe trades water, food, and milk, thing he invented and owns. Not only water, he trades mother's milk exploding and stuff. His close acquaintances are the Gastown clan, which he trades. He is their redeemer. He is also the leader of the War Boys. A bunch of saying this much, he releases some water, but only for a few seconds. A absence. Joe then sends his lieutenant, Imperator, Furiosa, to vehicles. Later, on the way, Furiosa diverts her rig and starts about Furiosa's change of direction and immediately heads to his chambers where he is the warlords, implying that they will have run away from him. Here, we Gax, a road warrior who is searching for a righteous cause, nowadays appear out of nowhere, prompting Max to drive off. However, he doesn't get hair and beard. They also make tattoos on his back, one being written as he all. He manages to free himself and escape. He fights several scavengers again. In the next scene, Joe orders his war boys to go I keep saying as he desperately needs blood. He chains Max to his vehicle and trans- I'm gonna talk about that guitarist with the flamethrower guitar? <laughs> okay. Meanwhile, she's sent by Joe. Scared, she drives into a massive sandstorm and on pleasing his master, having a lovely day. So he pours fuel into Lisa. However, due to the sandstorm, he loses control of the car and cracking a bit further, he finds Furiosa's rig where the five girls are cleaning them to cut off his chain that ties him to Nux, but they fail to do so. Joe get into a fight. Max eventually overpowers Furiosa and even they're doomed. The rig stops nearby. It turns out that Furiosa promises to lead them to a place called Green Place, which is supposedly a source. She has already made a deal with them, which states that they will get to pass the area. Driving. This violates the deal, as Furiosa mentioned that only a few people may. However, the bikers are not going to let up so easily on her, so they start time. The war boys have also closed in on the rig. As Joe tries to shoot, he holds back, as he is adamant on giving birth to a successor. Climb back inside the rig. She slips and falls. Joe tries Nux, who is disappointed with Joe, manages to enter the rigs left to live. They take him in as they drive through the night for a large amount of water, with all hopes now seeming to be lost. Nux's group gets out of there before the enemies arrive. The following morning, Max went and abducted in her childhood since she wants redemption, and Joe's wife screams for help. Although Max thinks it's a trap, Furiosa steps other elderly women on bikes. They all spend a moment of joy that the place has become desolate and is not suitable for living any remaining mothers of their clan have died long ago. Hearing all this, head across the salt flats to find a new home. The only problem is that they tells Furiosa that he won't be joining them. The next morning, Max to his daughter's demise, so he quickly drives to the bikers. He stops them in pursuit of them. Furiosa thinks long and hard about it, but after she realizes Anion and realizes that they are driving back to the citadel since it's unguarded, a brutal war ensues. Several of Joe's men are killed, but the the war getting more brutal by the minute. Furiosa and her group somehow manage to get an ends the fight when she attaches Joe's mask onto the wheels, taking his having a large fuel tanker. Thinks of a plan. His entire life has been the war boys. Soon, he violently swerves his vehicle and cries life, but it was a decision he had made long ago. Elsewhere, on the hut underneath Furiosa's lungs to help her breathe when the plan doesn't work out, where Max reveals Joe's mouthless corpse to the people, making everyone come to an end. They then start shouting to let Furiosa and Joe's wives in their rulers. As Furiosa and her group overlook the entire crowd, she are in need of help. The movie ends as an unlimited supply of water is released to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.